about the material that you used? Perfect. Um, for the morning session, uh, I definitely used your courses. And after I saw your, your I, I used your courses and, and the NCES exam, the new one, mm. right? So what I what I did um, is once you once you talk about something that 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 I saw it on the on the once I was reading it the the NCS when once you, you you say something that was on the exam I really took notes I had my cheat sheet so I said okay the Kansas say this is the approach of these kind of problems so I was like guiding myself with the NCES. Because something that I learned with this experience is that most of the books that are outside of for 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 everyone for on the on Amazon sometimes are harder and sometimes it's just discourage anyone like I say okay this exam is gonna be so hard so what I try to do is focus on your courses and in the morning section on on the NCS try to like think okay what would be the difficult question can be asked on during the exam then that's what i said that's why i felt so confident for the morning one for the morning session then when i jumped to the afternoon um i saw your your youtube um and some link that you recommend me to watch so uh, um what i try to focus is okay for example in, on environmental is more units it's not something that you're going to see on 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 the exam on the reference book is more units so i memorize um some i took notes and i say okay for example uh i i need to know where are gallons on the unit section of the handbook so i have to go quick so okay gallons it will be on the last row okay on the first row at the last on the bottom mm -hmm. so i was like sharp on that on that sense then also i i took note of the ones or the units that that's could be asked, but but they are not on the on the handbook. Like for example, accuracy. That you have to be aware that if you want to convert um, feet feet uh, feet square to accuracy, is is there? It's not on the on the unit. So I took note on those. So that's how I prepare myself for construction and for surveying. Then, what I did, for example, in geotech, on uh, is. Um, I saw the, your your video, so I focus on the topics that I that I know. The that on on I focus on the topic that I know, and I had a, like an idea. I I for the ones that I didn't know, for example, retain walls. What I did, I I just did step. I I, I saw that problem and say, okay, this is something that I didn't see in the school. But if I had this problem, I'm gonna try the steps. Okay, first you have to find this. The area has to be measure from here. So I had like my guide on the ones that I felt that, that was hard. For the ones that I, that I, that I know that are those topics that I can, I can do it. Basically I watch your videos for techniques and then I just try to do some exercise that friends just gave me. Okay, wow, that's amazing. Okay, so yeah. we're going to take a step back here a little bit and just kind of discuss the materials. So did you get the FE Bytes course and the statics course as well? You got both? Or no. You just got just the morning. Okay. Um, so you, when you took the NCS practice exam, did you take it as, you took it as a practice exam, right? You didn't try to study off of it. You took it as a practice exam or were you talking about the reference handbook? No, when I said the, the practice one, I had the practice one and, okay. uh, and I, I, I some, some of the problem. I did it. I did it first. The the practice just with the to test myself to okay. see how how off I was. Then for the ones that I don't that I didn't know or for the ones that I knew, I basically tried to match with your course. Like for the first part of the exam. So okay, how I can how this question can be asked in different ways. What would be the other ways to be asked wow. this question? That's great. Okay, that's awesome. So another thing is you mentioned the unit. So you try to remember the unit conversions and stuff. And I really like that. Actually, Pranitha did the same thing. And she created a cheat sheet <clears throat> just for units. And she shared it with me. And she wanted me to share it with you guys. So it is on the course. Were you able to just check it and look at it? Did you use it at all? No, I did my own because I wanted just to try and narrow which one are the ones that I really uh, the ones that I really gonna use, or the ones that I, 
for by experience i gonna i knew it on the on the reference manual yeah that that's smart so a lot of times like students would email me like hey can i get the cheat sheets and i feel like like the cheat sheets you really have to create it on your own because some yes. of the stuff that i might add in that cheat sheet you probably already know it and some of the stuff might not be there and you actually need it so i usually recommend a lot of my students to create your own cheat sheet as you go yes because if you saw uh, something that you never knew you never know that if you say something new you're going to be stressed say like, how are you going to use this so then you're going to be just focusing on you're going to spend a day or two days saying okay this is a conversion i need a problem to i need to find out a problem that say that i'm going to use this part of the cheat sheet so i just prefer to create my own so that's it guys for today's video let me know in the comments below what is your biggest study tip so just share that with us and if you guys like this video please give me a big thumbs up don't forget to subscribe for new videos every week thank you guys for watching good luck with your studying and i will see you soon à la prochaine oh yeah,